Welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a triptych image of flowers like the one that is seen on screen. Please remember these tutorials are designed with the beginner in mind and they are squarely aimed at someone starting out on their journey to master Photoshop. Please remember you can download the start images in the description box below and please if you download them and then put them into Photoshop we can go from there. As always, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to reset Photoshop to ensure that your Photoshop on your screen looks the same as mine. In order to do that, we're going to click up and we're going to go into Window and then we're going to come into Workspaces and then we're going to come into Reset Essentials. Now this Learn icon box here has appeared. It's quite annoying, so I'm going to minimize it by clicking that there. The next thing we're going to do is in this square box here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit reset all tools and then I'm going to hit OK. This ensures that your tools will look the exact same as my tools on the screen. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these layers and delete them and I'm going to now assume that you have downloaded all the images and you've installed them and brought them into Photoshop. So we've got this uh, texture of sand black sand it looks kind of cool really really like that and we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our flower images so here's my first image and what I need to do is I need to select this image but I need to select it in a way that is the same across all the other images so in order to do that I'm going to come up here to my selection tool M for marquee tool and under style I'm going to choose a fixed size now this will now allow us to put in an amount of pixels in the width and height and I'm going to go for 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels and now when I click anywhere it's giving me the exact size that I want so I just want to click and ensure that I've got it in the position that I want the most. I'm really happy with that so I'm going to go command and C to copy I'm going to come over to my background and command and V to paste. Now I go ahead and get my other images we're still on our M for marquee selection and I'm going to go ahead I'm just going to centralize it a bit more like that command C to copy back to my background command V to paste. Then I'm going to come over to this image and I'm going to try again. Oh, missed it. Let's try over here. Happy with that. Command C for copy. Come back over to my background image. Command V to paste. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my move tool. And as you can see, we can move our flowers around. We can choose the order. Maybe you want the white one in the middle and the yellow one on the side. Whatever you want to do, you can do. Now at the moment the flowers are too big for them to all fit uh, across uh, the image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my first flower and I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click the second the layer down here. Now I'm going to go command and T and I can just grab the corner and reduce the size of these flowers until I think that they're all going to fit in the image quite nicely. I'm happy with that so I'm going to apply the transform by hitting the tick or pressing enter. Right now at the moment um, we don't know if our images are perfectly lined up. We don't, we don't know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Photoshop to, to, to do the alignment for me. So again I'm going to click the first flower. I'm going to hold down my shift key and I'm going to click the last flower and now all my flower layers are selected. And um, under the move tool we've got some options available to us. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to click this align all vertical centers and that puts them perfectly in a line and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Photoshop to space the, the gap here and the gap here perfectly by clicking that and behind the scenes Photoshop has measured and has exactly aligned these gaps which is wonderful. So I'm happy with that and now what I want to do is I want to put a layer mask on to make the image a bit more standing off the page. So I'm just going to click my first layer here and double click to access my layer masks and I'm going to go for a stroke on this occasion and uh, white is always a good option particularly if you've got such a dark scene like this and you can choose the thickness of your stroke. I'm going to go for yeah okay let's go for 20. I'm going to put the number 20 in here. 
I think that looks very cool. And uh, the position is, let's go on the inside. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK. Now I want the same uh, style, layer style applied to all the others. So I simply right click and I go copy layer style. And then I click my next layer and right click paste layer style and right click paste layer style. And now all my images will look the same. Now the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my background layer and I'm gonna go Command and J to duplicate the layer. And then I'm gonna bring it right to the top of my layer stack. So now I can't see anything below. And the reason I've done this is because I want to try and find a way of blending through this to the flowers below. So I'm just gonna choose my blend modes and I'm gonna go through here until I find something which takes my fancy. And as I go through, lightened ones do look good. That is an option. Um, the overlay also looks very good. I'm gonna keep coming down here and I quite like difference. Difference is the option that I'm gonna choose. You can choose whatever suits you best. So that's the end of today's video tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, please give us the thumbs up. It really does help out. Remember, you can also see lots of other tutorials on this channel and there is a playlist dedicated to helping people to become better at Photoshop. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you next time.